agree. Due to the tragedy that happened early Friday morning in Colorado in the movie theater, we have decided to change the name of uh, our Monday morning movie review feature. We did call it the Monday Movie Massacre, you know, a little tongue-in-cheek because James from Vagrancy Films, Weird James, uh, he's here with us. He, he's the guy who does the review. He, he likes the horror movies, stuff like that. But James is actually the one who sent a text and said, you know, it doesn't seem very appropriate mm-hmm. to use that title anymore. I mean, you're seeing Movie Massacre on the news now, and it's taken on a, a completely different meaning. So we have changed the title of the feature to the Monday Movie Hangover, but it's the same feature. We're still going to have some lighthearted, fun reviews, and uh, let's do it right now. For the first time, it's the Monday Movie Hangover on FM 96. The Monday Movie Hangover with Weird James. There you go, Weird James. You even got your name in the ID yeah, now. Oh, Weird James. Wow. Love it. <laughs> okay. Moving on up. Weird James, the movie that you went to see over the weekend was The Dark Knight Rises. I'm Gotham's reckoning. Did they kill him? I'm not sure. Oh, I didn't see just kill me. Your punishment must be more severe. What did you think of the film? Wow, that was uh, that right there. That clip you played pretty much sums up the biggest fault I had in the movie uh, was uh, was Bane's voice. It was uh, what was the best way to sum it up? It was a little bit of uh, Kelly Mahar doing Sean Connery, oh. uh, part part <laughs> Jawa, part Jawa, uh, and a little bit of Apu from The Simpsons here. <laughs> I'm going I'm to try. I just go to and unfortunately, every time he opened his mouth, even though he couldn't tell because he had that Cuisinart on his face, uh, you know, it just kind of brought the whole thing down for me, man. And uh, who is this character anyway? He's the bad guy in in the movie, Kelly. Okay. And it, should we give spoiler alerts? Try not to give too much away because there's a lot of people who could, didn't have the chance to see the movie right, on the right, weekend, James. Right. So okay, well, uh, it's seven years after, and uh, it wasn't a Cuisinart on his face. Okay. It was something like that. That's all I pictured now is this big it thing. So, it looked like something you put your garbage down the sink and. It, Choose it up. Like That's a, a garbage, garbage, That's garbage, not even a Cuisinart. No. A food processor, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, his, his voice was horrible. He uh, did. I noticed, though, <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. Like, even in that opening scene where you first hear him speak, yes. I thought, that sounds like Sean Connery. Yeah, mm. yeah. And I, I'm going to get you, Batman. <laughs> I, had, I had four many, uh, crazy guys in the theater with me. They were, they were like, I had to literally cover their mouths because they were, they had never even seen the other Batman movies before and they wanted to just start heckling the movie and I was like, no, I don't want this. They're going to they're gonna throw me out of the theater but they weren't fans because they didn't never seen the other movies so. okay so Bane's, Bane's Sean Connery voice aside right how did you like the film uh it, it was good it had some huge holes in the story that you know that that Prometheus got a lot of flack for and whatnot but it was uh, a definite good way to uh, wrap up the the Christian Bale version of the story and uh, looks like it has the potential to possibly go in a new direction with uh, this is what this is what don't give it away right. the the, uh, the ending or but there was too much at the end of the movie there was a lot of cool twists but it seems like they all came at the very end of the film did you notice that yes and there, it had uh, the one major twist uh, was came right out of nowhere you know they they like to push yeah, in the direction like, boom, that, boom. that this one person was the person that did this spoiler alert spoiler alert all right yeah all that was day. Catwoman. Catwoman? Oh, Catwoman was great. Yeah, you know, she was I, good. I was surprised. I didn't know when they said Anne Hathaway, James. Yeah, I didn't know what to yeah, think. Yeah, she had, she had a thing for pearl necklaces, and, and uh, you know, I would have worked on uh, her outfit a little bit better. Uh, but other than that, you know, she had a great performance. Um, Catwoman was great, you know. Yeah, she yeah. was. She was. I thought Tom Hardy was going to be the, the, the guy who stole the show right. as Bane, but I think he was the weakest link. With that voice. Yeah, and we were talking, too, what an amazing uh, actor Tom Hardy is in some of his other films. And he, and he almost seemed like, you know, as brooding as he was on the, on the screen. He was, he was kind of wasted uh, in some regards, I thought. Well, if you put a Cuisinart over any actor's face, it makes it pretty tough for them <laughs> to win an Oscar, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you give The Dark Knight Rises? James uh, rates movies based on how many drinks he has to sneak out of his flask right, during a right. film. What do you give it? I, had to give, I have to give it a hypothetical rating because when we were leaving, we saw it at the rainbow, and, and there was this beautiful blonde that held up the parking when we left. And, you know, so I was, I was being responsible, but I want to give a shout-out to her because her, her bending over to fumble with the ticket validation thing was almost more fun than the movie. And when the arm finally went up, you know, I was up too. But uh, I give it a, a hypothetical uh, one shot. But I didn't drink because I had my friends in the car. One? So, so it's still a good movie. It was movie. still a good movie, but okay. I was like, I mean, this is like the only movie I think I've seen at midnight that I can remember. So... 
All right, Weird James, thank you very much for going to see The Dark Knight Returns for us. No problem. Dark Knight Rises. Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. The Monday Movie Hangover with Weird James.